Let's get to the serious news of the day. Yeah, it's sad. sad. It's, it's sad. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how you could. I don't care even if you weren't a Des Bryant fan. Right. Seriously. Nobody wants to see anybody get hurt, especially an athlete who looked like he got an opportunity, finally sat out all year, signs a contract, and then today. Yeah, the news is that it's not official yet, but all the reports are saying that he tore his Achilles. And and I was on the last play of practice today. This was his second practice with the team, and on the last play of practice, he tore his Achilles. And uh, it's just sad. Like you said, even if you don't like Dez even if Bryant, you, don't like you can't feel good that's not, that's about not. this. And you and I have talked. We've talked about this with Le'Veon Bell. Like, regardless of where you fall on the Le'Veon Bell situation, I would think most people would admit this franchise tag rule with the NFL, it's just totally unfair to players. I brought up yesterday with James Conner. James Conner's making under 600000 this year, I believe. And we'll make that for next the next year. Next year he'll make years. about six hundred. The year after that be about seven fifty. I mean, heck, if he's great for the next three years, by the time he's ready to really get paid, he may be on the decline because running backs, that's kind of how it and works. And then they don't pay him. They right. don't get the deal. And, here, and here's the other thing. If you're Le'Veon Bell, here's the exact reason why you he finally wanted to get paid yeah. after two years, Chris, of being – it's not no years. It was the first year that they gave him a franchise tag. They did it twice. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, I could wind up like, like uh, Des Bryant, and now Des Bryant's career – is in question. Well, it is. It's a good chance. It's, it's in over. question. It's a good chance. Yeah. I hate to put that out there, but they're saying he's going to be out if it is officially torn. He's going to be out about eight months. And he hadn't played already. It's right? all, it'll be basically two, two years, years you without play. Right. And, you know, so it's just very sad. And, and I brought up the Le'Veon because the Cowboys, he had that guarantee or that contract, that big number contract. What was he supposed to make this year? Twelve and a half million. Who are you talking about, Des? Des. Yeah. And they cut him and didn't pay him any of right. it. Right. And that's that's where the players get the short end of the stick. But that's because in the, the NBA players and in aren't baseball, willing. You get your money. But they aren't willing to fight for it, Chris. Until you're ready, to, and people can say whatever you want. Until you're ready to shut the league down and say we want, even if they're only two year or three year guarantees, not long con- term yeah. contract, but a guaranteed deal, so that if something happens. I get covered. I could, they that they just can't cut me because they yeah. want to cut me. No, I agree. And that and that's Des had a contract that allowed them to cut him and then not have to give him any money. I just how in the world is that fair when they're using up your body? No, it's not. They're fair. They're using your body. It's not fair. As much as I would have liked to seen Le'Veon be playing, but this you do year get that right and get his fourteen million. I get what he's saying because I would say, look, you would have got fourteen million this year, and that's a ton of money. But if he had gotten hurt this year, he never get he, that. He wouldn't get the long term deal. So I get where he's coming from, and that's all he wanted, especially after the two franchise tags. Yeah, and I've said you and I have the bet on the wings, right? That I don't think he's gonna get Ty Gurley money. I think he'll get good money, but right. not Ty Gurley money. If he does, I owe you wings. If he doesn't, you owe me wings. But at this point, I would say this about Le'Veon Bell: Don't come back this year because now the news has come out this week that he can be a free agent this summer, whether he comes back or not, or this offseason. Right. So now why come back? No, that's a good point, and I'm sure that they're thinking about it. because. But Rooney came out, one of the owners, right? I mean, Art uh, Rooney the second. Right. He said, said that he's wh- coming back. He said they expect him back, but the full quote was, we don't really know what's going on with Le'Veon, but I, we expect him back. So he doesn't really know. When he is just, it, Tuesday the deadline? Tuesday is the After deadline. the day off, right? I wouldn't come back, Rob. Yeah. Why? First of all, if J- James Conner, we know, is in concussion protocol, the assumption is he'll be fine by their next game. Right. If James Conner is healthy, if I'm Le'Veon Bell, I know I'm not going to start. Whether he thinks he's better than Conner or he is better or whatever, they're going to stick with Conner as a starter. They'll find a role for Le'Veon, but he's not going to, you know, be the featured back and be able to rack up the huge numbers that we're used to seeing from him. He might even look rusty. Well, you know, might not really ever get his legs under him by the time they're done playing. And then you might have some teams that say, well, you know, it could hurt his stock. Not to mention there's always the possibility of getting injured. I just, if I'm him, 
I don't know what there is to gain from coming back right now. I hate to say it, but yeah, I think you, if you can, you want to get out there and have some, uh, have a chance to play a little bit, you know, and and uh, make up a little money. And if you're not the feature back, uh, you could always get hurt on any play, but you're not going to be like worn out or torn up. Because yeah, the other guy, gonna, yeah. the other guy's getting the bulk the of the carry, the wear and tear. So it's kind of like a an easier transition or or lighter. You know what I mean? Yep, yep. So so from that standpoint, I I don't think it's out of the question that he might come back. But either way, I'm telling you, I think he's going to wind up winning, and especially now when they find uh, found out about the loophole, which is going to make him a free agent. That really helped his cause. Yeah, Whether they knew it or not, <laughs> it's going to help now. Yeah. I, I don't want to beat up on his agent, but the reports are out there that he didn't know. You know, we'll, who knows? He knows now. Right. right. 